culture. They got hired to do an education program at DCA that was eventually cut by, it was funded through the federal government, and it was cut. And then it was lucky for me in the, uh, that this was in the commissioner's brain, or else I would have been out on the job myself. And I switched over to um, Great Promise Partnership. I worked there for a year and a half and had people never even say hi to me in the elevator, right? All of a sudden, kids are in the building, and I have people talking to me like, where are the kids? Why aren't they here today? Well, how are they doing? And did uh, so-and-so's mom get better? And, you know, we do service projects um, where the whole entire 400 people at DCA can participate by bringing in, you know, they adopted a uh, senior citizen's home for Easter, and they did nice things for Easter. And their goal was to have 50 bunnies. They ended up having 300 bunnies, little stuffed animal bunnies to take over to that thing. So that's, so it really changes. It's not only good for the kid, I believe it's good for the employer. It changes the morale. People can get involved with it in different ways. So the, the, the highly involved employees would be their supervisors, okay? So we have five kids in five different departments, so they have five different supervisors because they're spread out through DCA. Then they also have five different mentors that are not in their department. So that's ways that, that people that work at DCA can really get involved, either by being a, a, a career coach, their supervisor, and teaching them really what they're doing, you know, real skills, real life skills, or they can be the mentor, which would be kind of like their, their life coach. That's there for that the, the, you know, stepdad came home drunk or the, um, he broke up with his girlfriend or whatever might come up, you know, or say they don't like their supervisor. They can go to their mentor and say, I'm having problems communicating with my supervisor. How would, how would you help? We train the supervisors. We train the mentors. Um, we, we facilitate background checks and sex offender checks um, so that no, you know, it's one thing to have your own kid. It's totally different to deal with somebody else's kid, especially a kid that might be in crisis or desperate, in a desperate situation. So we help the employers train and get their employees Right. So those are two big ways people at a, a work site can get involved. But then there are little ways that, like the service project, the um, backup mentor, uh, people bringing cupcakes, people like have uh, backpacks that somebody donated. And the rule, we have all that settled in policy and, and rules and everything. You don't give one kid a backpack without giving the other kids a backpack, that kind of stuff. So we have all that. Um, we have a website, it's on the folder, it's gppartnership.org, and if you are a workplace site, um, there's a login that has all those kind of materials, guidebooks, trainings, so that nobody's recreating it. We try to, I try to make it as, you know, got my teacher hat on and really tried to make it as easy as possible and made up all the forms and everything to mentor log, log, um, log, books to, you know, uh, transportation waiver, you know, from kind of important to not so important or just helpful. Any other questions? <laughs>